I think the, um, the most important part of the fabrication uh, process is actually the precision of it. Uh, so what we do with vehicles is we integrate uh, material and parts that we buy in, uh, except for the hull. The hull is the one part that we build ourselves. Uh, we build it from sheet metal, uh, armored sheet metal. It's uh, obviously something that we have to control very closely. We, we qualify the vehicles in terms of protection against landmine explosions, IED explosions and also ballistic. Uh, and once that is done, it is, it is very important that you build the hull according to those same strict measurements that you, um, that you initially had in the design. Uh, and that's really, uh, for me, the most important part of the vehicle precision. Um, we do not have robotic welding. Do everything by hand simply because of the, of the volumes of work that we do or the quantities uh, but in, in the process we use jigs, fixtures, uh, manipulators to ensure that every hull is built to exactly the same dimensions as the previous one and then obviously we have a, a strict quality regime uh, where we measure and test the accuracy of, of the uh, hulls as we build them throughout the production run. Okay, safety zones are typical areas where a weapon are not allowed to move into or actually fire in that, that zone. Um, so if you have a weapon on the top of this vehicle, for instance, if you have a depression angle and there's a possibility to fire into the bonnet, those are typical areas that are no firing zone or what we call a safety zone. Okay, first of all, it's um, a prevention of the weapon to either move into that area or then secondly, prevent it to fire in that, that area. So we do that uh, by a physical uh, structure. Uh, so it's not software controlled, so it's um, safety certified and actually prevents the vehicle or the weapon to move into that vehicle area. And then secondly, it disables the, the master arm, which is also the firing circuit, to prevent it firing in that area. Okay, for a remote weapon system, the operator sits behind the control inside the vehicle. So the only interface he has to the, the weapon is a camera image in front of him, a video image. So that video image must be 100% aligned with where the weapon is aiming or firing eventually. So we must be very sure that um, that bore sight, what we call bore sighting, is 100% correct. And it also stays correct after firing. So in the instance of um, you have movement of the vehicle over rough terrain or you have done firing, um, the alignment of the weapon and uh, the camera must be exactly in the same position. And for that we need very precise engineering mechanisms. Um, it gets certified during the development process and it needs to be repeated during production.